Why do I look so stupid? I'll take another one. Uh, why do I look so... Hold on. Hmm? <coughs> this is something I'm sure everybody is going through to some degree. You feel amazing and genuinely enjoy your life. You're able to breathe in fresh air. <coughs> you spend time with your family and friends. Did you fart? Work one cool spot. Eat delicious food. Do more fun activities. But the moment life thinks you're having a bit too much fun, you stumble upon a reflection of yours. And that's when reality decides to deal with you. Whenever I'm out and about, I always feel like I'm the most mysterious person there is. And I don't like it, because it feels like my mind is playing tricks on me. So when I'm walking to the grocery store, for example, I start to feel like a runway model. The doors open up and it's time for my debut. I start walking graciously and for every stride I take, another set of eyes peers towards my direction. I have my headphones on, playing the most hype TikTok music, making me feel like I'm in an edit. Excuse me? Can I help you? Where is the bleach? I'm sure you already know, but if you want some real opinion to whether you look goofy or not, just ask a kid. They'll let you know what's up. Some will let you know just for the sake of it. What's up with your nose? And others, you'll just know. <laughs> You might be expecting me to bring up our own voices, because who doesn't cringe at a recording of their own voice? I don't think it's as bad as people make it seem, because if you listen to your own voice for a bit, you'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. But there is one thing that I still haven't gotten past, which is my laugh. Holy guacamole, I've heard it a couple of times and it always sent me into a cringe relapse. Like sometimes I'll be laughing and thinking to myself right after, Oof, that laugh was tough. And then I listened to it. I don't think I'm the only one that has imagined this. Fighting an animal. Why? I don't know. I mean, it just happens. If I see an animal, I'll probably at some point think about ways to fight it or at least defend myself. Don't get me wrong though, it's not like I'm imagining myself punching a chihuahua across the yard. But I think this trait makes sense to some degree. This is my theory without having done any research, so take it with a grain of salt. It's probably not a useful trait nowadays because sometimes I be thinking about ways to take down a bear. Yes, a bear. I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous and it is, so instead of defending myself, I'll just show you what I mean. This is how I think I'll take on a bear. And this is how I think it would pan out realistically speaking. 